head trainer uh, since he turned pro. Uh, Coach Justin Gamber, um, mm -hmm. today was kind of out of the ordinary. Caleb's it was definitely really, unique. Caleb's always been a real cool and calm, collected guy. Stays focused, even killed, and that's one of the things that's been impressive about him as he's even killed. You were a little closer to the interaction than I was. What was the conversation like when they were face to face up there? I wasn't that close, honestly. I've, it's been kind of hearsay since then. I, I okay. wish I would have been a little closer and I would have tried to get in between them a little bit quicker. But um, um, I don't know what was said. I, I heard rumblings that you know Caleb offended his mom and all he said was motherfucker. And, and I, I've heard Canelo say that to Google Android. So I mean, yeah. I don't know. It sounds like there's some confusion, um, but. It's unfortunate that it happened. I, you know, me as a coach, I don't want stuff like this to happen because we don't want the fight to be effective. Right, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate. We, it's, this this event does not have to. It does not have to uh, speak for itself. I mean, yeah, it, it speaks it, for, it's itself. for itself. It doesn't it need the to extra. It. Yeah, it no, didn't, yeah, you're, no, you're it right about that. I mean, we were talking about that earlier at the at the lunch table. Like, uh, the guy asked me about. Um, Who's on the fight card? I was like, really? These doesn't guys, these, these guys can fight alone. This is this doesn't need any extra. This is nah. this is this is enough on its own. It's, it's for all four belts. I guess yeah. the Ring Magazine pound for pound number one fighter in the world, and uh, that's history. I mean, it, it we don't need anything to add to it. I mean, it's it sells itself. It speaks for itself. Now well, you've been with Caleb for for the duration of his time. Yeah. He talked about really passionately talked about uh, his upbringing, and he had nobody to look forward to, uh, look up to, as he's trying to uh, make his climb his journey as a professional fighter. Mm -hmm. There was nobody from Nashville who I had. Think, that. I, 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 well, he didn't. He's right, but most fighters don't. I don't know who did Manny Pacquiao have? Um, well, that's true. At that's the true, time, that's I mean, that's like most fight. people, unless you're like from Detroit or something, you yeah, grew yeah. up in the Kronk, so, You're probably not, but. but um, but the point I the point I yeah. want to get at is now that he he's kind of climbed this mountain and he's became this journey undisputed look, undefeated fighter looking to become the undisputed champ. Um, how does how does it feel to have somebody looking up to him? Does it does he, do you guys talk about that to have other uh, young fighters and oh, up and comers yeah. kind of look up? Do you guys talk Absolutely. about that? Or? It's a big deal to us. I mean, you know, I mean, Caleb's always trying to help young guys. As a matter of fact, I train another. Uh, young man from Australia and and, uh, and he just made his pro debut on, on Sweet Hands promotions okay. so okay. Um, you know he's, he's always trying to help he's always trying to give back you know it's funny because like I, I'm so competitive as a coach that if I see another coach in the gym working with a fighter and make a mistake I'm not I'm not about to go and fix them you know right, what right, I mean sure, sure, because sure. I mean I'm competitive but and, and Caleb's getting more like that now, but there was a long time where he was like, come on, coach, you need to help them, coach. And I'm like, yeah. And then in 10 years, <laughs> that he's a coach on the opposite side from right, me. Right, right, right. We're in a big fight. <laughs> right, right, no exactly. thanks. Yeah, but, yeah, um, exactly. He's always trying to give back to the younger guys, and we're, we're both obviously very flattered and honored that, that younger guys look up to us. Okay, now, uh, last one, I want to let you go on this one. Obviously, he makes a prediction. Uh, Canelo makes a prediction inside eight rounds. Yeah. Do you have any kind of feel of uh, maybe what you guys are planning towards? I know you you like to go 12 rounds. I have rounds. scenarios. Okay. I have different scenarios in my head where there are different, you know, decision wins. You know, don't be shocked if Caleb, you know, always remember that the punch that, that hurts people and the punch that drops them and the punch that knocks them out is the 99% of the time it's a punch that they don't see, mm -hmm. right? And Caleb is very good at setting up the shot that people don't see. So don't be shocked if Canelo goes down. Definitely don't be shocked if you thought that, that Uzkategi was going to steamroll through Caleb because right, he right. went down twice. So definitely don't be shocked if Canelo goes down. But hypothetically, in, in my mind, like, for me, if the fight goes a distance, it's hard. It's it's very, very difficult to beat Caleb. He's just a master boxer with good feet. He's a good, natural, technical boxer. Can, Canelo's got a lot of skill. Yeah. And he, but... Can you keep up with a mobile master boxer? And I'm not talking, no offense to anyone, mm -hmm. but this isn't anybody that, that Canelo's fought before. This is a different animal. <laughs> sure, sure, and sure. On November 6th, he's going to learn it. Well, we look forward to seeing it. Thank, thank you. you thank, you, thank you, Justin. Have a great one. You too.